So in this video, what we're going to do is use GeoGebra Classic 5 version to put a matrix into reduced row echelon form. In the previous homework and previous videos, we did it by hand using the Gauss-Jordan elimination. So we start off doing the same thing that we did in the previous videos. We first take our system of equations and we put that system into matrix form. And we do that by reading off for each equation, we read off the coefficients and the constant term into the matrix. So the first row is going to be 3963. 3963. Three. The second row is going to be 21 negative 1, 2. So we get 21 negative 1, 2. And the last row in our matrix is going to be 1, 1, 1, 2. And so here's our matrix. So instead of putting this into reduced row echelon form by hand, which you will need to be able to do for the first test, we're going to use a computer algebra system to do that. So I'm going to escape out of PowerPoint. I'm going to keep that image and throw this over to the side so I can see my matrix. I'm going to open GeoGebra Classic 5. And in GeoGebra Classic 5, in the view menu up here, there's a spreadsheet view and we're going to need that spreadsheet view. We aren't going to need the graphics window so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to throw GeoGebra off to the side here. Let's get myself some window. And what you do is you use the spreadsheet uh, view to dump your matrix entries into the spreadsheet. So I'm going to take each row in my matrix and feed that row into the spreadsheet view. So the first row in my matrix is 3, 9, 6, 3. So enter that as a row into the spreadsheet and then enter the second row in the matrix which is 2, 1, negative 1, 2. Enter and the in, enter will send you down to the next line and then feed in the third row which is one tab one tab one tab two and we fed the entries for our matrix into the spreadsheet view and in GeoGebra the way that we create a matrix from this is we just highlight those entries right click which is going to bring up a context menu like it like it typically does in any software package and you go down to create and you create a matrix. And the moment you create a matrix, that matrix is going to show up in the algebra window that opens by default when you start GeoGebra Classic 5. And then it's typical in linear algebra to give matrices capital letter names. So usually what I do is right click on the matrix that's been created, and then I rename it to a capital letter. I'm gonna call this capital A. And then what we want to do is use GeoGebra to put this into reduced row echelon form. So I'm going to close the spreadsheet view now. I don't need it any longer. I'm going to go back to the view menu and I'm going to open right here the CAS, the computer algebra system. So I'm going to open the computer algebra system window. And <clears throat> GeoGebra has functions built into it. So a lot of times when you're using GeoGebra, just start to type the thing that you want to do and a lot of times what you'll uh, realize quickly is that the programmers used function names that match with the name of the thing that you want to do. So in this case we want to put this matrix to solve it into reduced row echelon form. So I'm going to start to type reduced row echelon form and you can see that here's a function called reduced row echelon form and the input to that function is a matrix and for that matrix right there you just input the matrix name and this is why I like to give it a single letter nice easy name so once it's prompting me uh, once it's suggesting to me a function name I just hit enter and it will automatically feed that function name into the computer algebra system and it highlights matrix which is where it's expecting me to put the input so if I don't touch my mouse right now or do anything but just go to my keyboard and type capital A, it'll automatically replace that uh, matrix prompt for me. And then I just hit enter. 
and it puts the matrix into reduced row echelon form for me and it's ready to be uh, interpreted. So this, this here says x sub 1 is equal to 2, x sub 2 is equal to negative 1, and x sub 3 is equal to 1. So that's how you use GeoGebra Classic 5 to put a matrix into reduced echelon form so you can interpret it.